Well, well, hello again, MGTOW. Uh Today we're not in the truck, but uh, I wanted to post this video for a long time and just did not have the time to put it all together. Um, so why don't we take a look up to the beautiful sky and uh, have a listen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Well, well, hello again, MGTOW. It's been a while, and uh, I do want to apologize for the uh, delay in posting videos. Today we are in Missouri, and it's raining outside, as you can see. So it's a, you know, it's a beautiful day. Uh, we need the rain. We need the rain so the plants grow, and uh, you know, the water cycle can do its thing. And it's just a matter of enjoying it, just like every other one. Um, I want to clarify one thing about one of my last videos. The uh, the title, which was "Why the MGTOW Cry at Night." Actually, that was not the title. The title was "MGTOW Cry by Night," and. Uh, that was a play. That was a, a play of words uh, regarding a book uh, that uh, had to do with the uh, Spanish Civil War, and the book was titled uh, "Soldiers Cry by Night" by uh, Matute was the name of the author. Now, um, I didn't expect everyone to, to catch that, uh, that play of words there, but I, what, what I did expect was for people to uh, get the basics of the video. And apparently it was somewhat misleading. Uh, the content in the video uh, led people to believe that uh, we make out, uh, you know, sit and cry or, or lay down at, at night and, and, and start crying like uh, like most women do you know out of pain for being alone or whatever that was not uh, what the video was about the video was about our inability to uh, bring about the societal change that will uh, that will best benefit both men and women in the long run uh, a societal change that will make everyone happy and I talked about that inability in the video um, as, it, you know, as, as it related to uh, you know, generations that had come before us so the video was about uh, that and it wasn't about men crying at night because we are weak or because we miss women so with that cleared I want to begin this video by talking about something uh, much simpler um, and that is menopause and in particular um, uh, in particular uh, premature menopause and um, so here we go uh, and, and this video is um, it's aimed at those people who say that men and women are the same. Right, uh, so I take this out of, I take this information out of the WebMD website, straight out of WebMD.com. If you type in menopause in the Google search bar, uh, you know you you you'll be directed to several pages, several links. Uh, and this, this is one of them, the one that I thought had the, the uh, simpler, simplest and most clear information uh, regarding the issue here. So it's not in-depth research, but it's something that I thought I'd bring to light uh, for my MGTOW brothers so that uh, no one can come out and say, hey, you know, men and women are the same because we men do not undergo this process.
Texas. And so we read, in the U.S., the average age of onset for natural menopause is 51. That is the second wall, right? Menopause, 51. So most women are, 50, are in their 50s when they experience this. Um, it says here, however, because of genetics, illness, or medical procedures, some women go through menopause before the age of 40. That is the famous wall that we talk about so much. And it follows, uh, menopause that occurs before this age, whether natural or induced, is known as premature menopause. That's right, they hit the wall quick, they hit the wall fast. And uh, once I'm done reading this article, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, make a comment as to why I think uh, you know some what are, what I think some of the reasons for uh, premature menopause may be. I'm not a I'm not a physician, of course. I'm a trucker, as you uh, as you guys know. But uh, you know, given the failure of the medical establishment uh, today in healing uh, most chronic metabolic diseases and their thirst for uh, Profits at the expense of people's health, right? Uh, you know, I, I, I think I, I think it's justified in. I'm, I'm, you know, my action is justified uh, by by trying to uh, give an opinion uh, as to what you know what I think uh, are some of the reasons why women experience premature menopause because they're not coming up with anything concrete. So it says here. Um, In addition to dealing with hot flashes, mood swings, and other symptoms that accompany menopause, many women undergoing premature menopause have to come have to cope with additional physical and emotional concerns. For example, because menopause signals the end of a woman's fertile years, a woman who wishes to get pregnant is likely to have trouble. I say they, uh, you know, they they self self prescribe uh, feminist feminist ideology, right? Feminism, and then they they're, they're trying to have a baby, and they discover that hey, they can't wait until they're you know until they're fifty because their ovaries are already giving up, all the partying. But let me leave that for the to the end of the video. Um, so what are the symptoms of, of uh, premature menopause? What are the symptoms of the wall approaching, right? Uh, the symptoms of premature menopause are often the same as those experienced by women undergoing natural menopause and may include, and here's a list, irregular or missed periods. This is what happens to women who hit the wall, guys. They, they experience irregular or missed periods. Uh, then, it says here, periods that are heavier or lighter than usual. So they, you know, they, they start to have all kinds of uh, things uh, taking, you know, taking place in their bodies. And finally, it says here, hot flashes. And in parentheses it says, a sudden feeling of warmth that spreads over the upper body. They call that a hot flash. So it's the feeling of warmth. It's not like a, like a flash of light, but a feeling. And it says here, these symptoms are, are a sign that the ovaries are producing less estrogen. That doesn't happen to men, as far as I'm concerned. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So, there you go. We're not equal. Simple as that. Along with the above symptoms, some women may experience, one, vaginal dryness. The, va the vagina may also become thinner and less flexible. We don't have vaginas, so we don't have to worry about that. We're, we're not the same. Uh, then it says here, bladder irritability and worsening of loss of bladder control. Incontinence, that's what it says. Uh, so in other words, they, they pee on themselves. You know, they, they, they can, uh, 
and I, I've known uh, women that do this at night. You know, they, they they go to bed, they can't control their bladder, they pee, they have to put a, a piece of plastic over the mattress or whatever, whatnot. Uh, I've met one or two like that, uh, especially my uh, during my speed seduction days. But that's a topic for another day. A piece of my past, I I uh, sometimes don't want to uh, talk about. Uh, they experience emotional changes, irritability, mood swings, mild depression. Uh, then it says here dry skin, eyes or mouth, uh, followed by sleeplessness, and finally decreased sex drive. Oh, but wait, that's not all. It says here, in addition to the symptoms listed above, if you're under the age of 40 and experience any of the following conditions, this is the website talking to women, you should see your doctor to determine whether you're undergoing premature menopause. Um, if there, you know, it, it says here, you have, if you're undergoing chemotherapy or radiation, uh, if you're, if you or family member has had autoimmune disorder such as uh, says here hypothyroidism I, I believe that's uh, inflamed thyroid gland but I'm not sure Graves disease jeez uh, I gotta get educated I don't know what that is or lupus and it says here uh, you have unsuccessfully tried to become pregnant for more than a year so if she has uh, been trying to have a baby and you know, and it's not successful at it uh, you know because she waited until the last minute so she can compete with men uh, for those top paying jobs right uh, then uh, it may just be too late she may uh, be undergoing menopause and finally says your mother or sister experienced premature menopause so if your mother was a feminist uh, you know who thought she could lift weights until where you know her 50s you know, power lift weights until they until she's 50 and, and, and try to run run men off the off the course then uh, chances are you you may undergo that too it doesn't say it here but uh, so how is it diagnosed? Uh, there's a physical exam. Uh, they draw blood. Um, let's see. Um, it says you can also order a test for uh, something called est estradiol levels. Uh, this basically all this crap doesn't concern us, guys. Um, you know, but they can get a test. They can get a test for that. They can they can find out uh, whether they can have a baby or not. Whether their ovaries are drying or not. Um, it says here, uh, are there any other health issues that affect women in premature menopause? All right. Uh, it says it can lead to women's overall health uh, risks, such as osteoporosis, their bones are uh, turning to powder. Um, the loss of estrogen includes increased risk for colon and ovarian cancer, gum disease, tooth loss, and cataract formation. They fall apart, guys. They fall apart. They hit the wall. That's what the wall is about. That is what it's all about. Uh, it says, compared with women who go through uh, natural menopause, because uh, it can be induced by uh, radiation or uh, uh, chemotherapy, as list, you know, as, as already mentioned. Uh, it says women undergoing premature menopause spend a greater portion of their lives without the protective benefits of their own estrogen. This puts them at an even greater risk for the above-mentioned menopause-related health problems. Anyways, guys, that's um. And then it goes on. The, the article goes on to talk about how it's treated. Uh, can it be reversed? Absolutely not. Well, it says here not usually, but 99.99% uh, of times, I mean, they hit the wall. They hit the wall. That's it. Uh, and it, it talks about other things, but uh, you know, I I, wa I want to cut my reading of the article. Uh, you know, short up to this point so that I can uh, give my uh, my two cents on what I think uh, happens what what some of these uh, uh, 
you know, causes of premature menopause may be. Because right. uh, menopause is a natural thing. Women just naturally lose their uh, hormones, right? Uh, their ability to produce these hormones so they can get pregnant uh, as they age, right? Uh, usually in their 50s. But what, what's taking place now, a lot of these women are hitting the wall earlier. And uh, I believe... I believe that it's diet related. Now I know what you're saying. Well, you know everything. Everything for you, sweet padre, is diet related, right? Uh, and everything is not diet related. But um, in this case, I think that you know, for women who are, you know, who go from after they graduate college or whatnot, uh, they do all that party, right? They never take care of their health. They eat whatever junk out there, right? Drink, drink, smoke, use drugs, party hard, you know, day and night. Eventually that lifestyle catches up to you, right? And do you think that may have an effect? Uh, as to, you know, whether a woman can have a baby in her later years or not? I think so, you know, absolutely. You know, uh, if, if, you know, if most women, you know, if there's a woman that exercised, right, uh, took good care of herself, drank vegetable juice, uh, you know, the, uh, or, or ate her salads, um, you know, try, you know, try to cut down on, uh, you know, the consumption of cadavers, right, burnt pieces of cadavers, right, uh, you know, full of fat and, and acid, right, an acidic diet, a diet that, that corrodes your insides, right, um, you know, and, 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 and she, maybe she drank pure water, right, uh, for the most part, she took good care of herself, right, she slept, um, you know, good, when she had a chance, right? I uh, went to bed early or whatnot. All these things have an effect on your health. And, um, you know, chances are that if, if she took care of herself, right, she'll undergo the, the, the process of menopause naturally. But, uh, you know, if you create cancer in your body by consuming acidic foods, right? Uh, by feeding the candida yeast infection because that's really what, what cancer is a candida candida yeast infection right eating you know breads and artificial sweeteners you know and fermented foods you know, year after year uh, of consuming burnt cadavers right this stuff will eventually catch up to you. And, you know, when a woman goes to the doctor and she's, you know, 35, 40, right? What's the doctor tell her? Well, lady, you know, you got to cut down on, you got to cut down on all this stuff that Sweet Padre is telling you you got to cut down on. Right? And eat healthy. So all the, all the junk they put in their bodies, like toddlers, without thinking, they brought everything through their mouths. Eventually, the doctor tells them you can't do it anymore. See? And that's, that, I think, is the reason why uh, many women undergo menopause at an early uh, stage in their lives. Premature menopause. They hit the wall early because they don't take care of themselves. Now, is this a biased uh, message? Yes, but it's my opinion. You see? And again, uh, with medical, uh, the medical establishment being what it is now, you know, who's to say I'm wrong? If you get sick out there right now, MGTOW, and you go into one of these hospitals, you're shit out of luck. I mean, if you break a leg or whatever, they'll fix you right up. They're good at that. But when it comes to chronic metabolic diseases, preventative medicine, you know, there is a uh, there's a lot of improvement to uh, to be uh, to be had out there, and the current medical establishment does not have a vested interest in you being healthy because they spend you know, tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes hundreds of thousands of, do of dollars, uh, you know, 
trying to get that uh, that medical uh, certification or that medical license so they can practice uh, what they've been taught at these medical schools see and they deny all the naturopathic uh, medicines right the the, uh, the the benefits of that right and you say well you know garlic kills yeast right it's antifungal and anti-parasitic and they'll laugh at you right even though a natural body will never be cured by an artificial substance you see because the the food and medicine of man is to be found in the plants that are already in nature the the the, the, the natural things in our environment see when we deviate from that natural course of things we get sick and I think this is what's taking place with these women. They deviate from their natural course, uh, not just physically, as it relates to diet, but mentally as well. They, they're trying to be men, and they experience menopause at an early stage in their lives. Anyways, MGTOW, um, I hope you uh, have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed putting it together. It has been my pleasure to... Uh, have you watch once more and please if you do like uh, if, if you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up share and subscribe and I do have more content coming for you I had a motorcycle video uh, that I was putting together but uh, for lack of data uh, you know, regarding the issue that that I that I wanted to talk about I could not I could not uh, bring it to fruition and so uh, let's let's find out what I can uh, come up with next or what I can discover next and share with you guys thank you until next time